Here was a cliff. The Lord says, discretion. Judgment call. Discretion definition, the power or right to decide or act according to one's own judgment. Freedom of judgment or choice is entirely within my discretion whether I will go or stay. That was just a sentence that was there to help you understand. Discretion is your choice to choose whether or not you will follow the Lord. Amen. It's your choice. There's no great philosopher, you know, somebody always, we can always go and hear what somebody else's opinion or great thoughts are. Somebody can come up with some great theological understanding, but it's a simple task. The Lord is saying discretion is you choosing the way to go. Amen. Choosing. You choosing. This cliff is here because this cliff is a representation of living in a sin-sick world. Living in a sinful life. Living in a sinful life. Has anybody ever told you, y'all remember your mamas, grandparents, or somebody telling you, if they ask you to jump off our bridge, you going to jump? Oh, okay, nobody heard that. Uh, Anybody ever heard something like that? Yes, you know, because your children say, why don't you do that? Well, so-and-so did it. Well, if he jumped off the, uh, a movie bus, you going to jump? <laughs> and we haven't realized that our children make those decisions based upon whatever knowledge that they have. Amen, amen. Based upon the knowledge that they have. That's why it's so important for us to follow Deuteronomy 6 and begin to teach our children the word of the Lord in the mornings, the noonday, the evenings. We need to find as much time as we can because in the life that we live, there's a bunch of people standing on the edge ready to jump. And unless our children are equipped in understanding what the Lord would have them to do, guess what they're going to do? They're going to jump. They're going to jump. And I always try to tell people, this is be careful of telling kids, you need to use your common sense. Mm. I, I, can I get three people up here? Any three. If you're feeling sleepy, jump. <laughs> Stand up there on the top. I get one more. <laughs> Keisha, I appreciate you. You always get in there. Stand up on the edge, though. Mm -hmm. Stand up there. Go ahead. Stand up there so you can jump. <laughs> now. Brother Johnson, get you over here. Now, if you could follow this, if you could follow this, discretion, this is what our children are up against. Maybe quit trade places with your dad. Quincy, you step up there. His life, his life is, if he's told, use your common sense. Use your common sense. Somebody tell me, what's common sense? <laughs> Listen to the word. What is common sense? And that's what we've been told. I was raised to, what was your common sense? I used it. I used my common sense. So this is common sense. 
Here's the edge of a cliff. So, oh, I want y'all to talk to each other and make a dare. I dare you to jump. You jump first. Come on, just make that conversation. But then y'all come to the conclusion y'all gonna jump together. <laughs> All right, so just need you to jump. Quissy. Need you to jump. That's not how this goes. <laughs> Why won't you jump? He's not using his what? He's not using common sense, is he? No. He's not using common sense because common sense says if they're doing it, then I'm going to do it. Then my mama changed and says, but use your God-given sense. Use your God-given sense. Don't be using your common sense. Because common sense will make you do what everybody else is doing. Amen. I'm guilty of using common sense. Thank y'all. I'm guilty. Somebody out here is being guilty too. You've been guilty of using common sense. Because see, common sense will captivate you. You could be somewhere and somebody be three or four other people doing something that's sinful and they'll say, come on, come on, man, we all going. We all going to be there. We all going to be doing it. Come on. And you know what? Your flesh jumps up and says, yeah, man. <laughs> we going to be like everybody else. It's common sense. Common sense will not preserve you through discretion. Because it takes away your ability to make a judgment call. Amen? It takes away your ability to make a judgment call. You think you're making a judgment call, but you're not. You are absolutely being persuaded by the wiles of Satan. You are being persuaded to go against the Lord because you know it's not of him. If you're moved to support this ministry, you can do so through Cash App at dollar sign Living Witness MC or through Tithely on our website at livingwitnessmissionarychurch.com. Click on the gift in the top right corner of the homepage. Thank you for watching and God bless.